Welcome to another training video from Sales Outlook. Today we are going to discuss the contact record in Sales Outlook. The Sales Outlook contact record is a normal Outlook contact record with a few additional features. We will first see how we can open a contact from your inbox. If you highlight an email and you see the Sales Outlook logo on the right in the side panel then you can click on the contact name to open the contact. You can also hover below in the bottom pane of the side panel to see related items. You can also search for contacts using the Sales Outlook search from the Sales Outlook toolbar. Click on search then choose contacts and enter your search. You can enter a company name to see all contact from a company. Double click on a contact to open the contact. You can also use the Outlook search to search for a contact. Click on the contacts button on the Sales Outlook toolbar. Then click inside the Outlook search and enter your search information. You can also enter a company name here to see all contacts. Double click on a contact to open the contact. You can also use the side panel to see related items by hovering over the bottom section of the side panel. This way you do not need to open the contact. You can use the side panel to quickly add a note, appointment, task, service inquiry or opportunity without opening. Let us now look at how to create a contact. If you are in your inbox then you can look at the side panel to see if the contact exists in Sales Outlook. Click on the sad face and it will prompt you to create a contact. If you know the company exists then click to search for an account. We will select no and allow the software to scan the email for a phone number and address. Once the contact is created you can create an account by clicking on the underlined company label. You can also create a contact by clicking on the contacts button in the Sales Outlook toolbar. And just like an email, you can click in the upper left to create a new contact. If a company already exists then you can open the company and click on the new button to add a contact to an existing company. Now that you know how to search and create contacts, let us break down the contact record. You will notice that the contact screen is a normal Outlook contact with additional information. There is a contact type drop-down, a do not auto-file, and a primary contact field. Sales Outlook will auto-file emails to a contact, but if you have a specific contact that you do not want to auto-file to then you can check this box. No emails will be filed unless they are manually filed. The primary contact can be used to signal a primary contact. An example may be if you have multiple billing contacts you may want to mark one as the primary billing contact. The contact also has related records just like we saw on the account. The related records allow you to add additional information to a contact. Select the related items you want and click on New. We will bring up a note or activity record. You can enter the note type, activity date, subject and additional text. You can also attach items here if needed just like an email message. You can click on the follow up date section to create a task for follow up. The note form also has its own toolbar to create an email, task, appointment or attach a document if needed. Let us take a look at email templates and campaigns. You can create email templates with contact fields to automate the creation of emails and campaigns. Click on the email button and choose an email template. Notice the contact name, company name, email address, and address can be auto-populated into the email template. You can set a reminder before you send the email, and since we auto-file emails you can select the note type before sending. So if you are sending a quote or proposal you may want to change the note type for easy access later. You can also select do not auto file if you do not want to file this email. 
Email campaigns are similar to email templates, but you will send a series of emails at different dates and times. Click on the Email Campaign button and choose a campaign. You can change the date and time the email goes out. You can also send email templates and email campaigns to a group of contacts. Organize your contacts, highlight the ones you want to send to and right-click the selection. Choose Create Email for All Contacts. Then choose the email template or campaign to send to these contacts. You can also use Mail Merge to create mailing labels or emails. Select your contacts and click on the Home tab. Choose Mail Merge and choose Selected or All Contact. You can use a predefined template or create a new one. Choose the type of document you want to create. We will choose mailing labels for holiday cards. Please see the video on creating mailing labels and email campaigns for more details. You can access a contact's LinkedIn profile from the contact by hovering over the email address and clicking on the LinkedIn button. Please note that you need Office 365 and the LinkedIn email address needs to be the same as your Office 365 email address. If your emails are different then you can click Show More and see the LinkedIn profile. Thank you for viewing this session. Sales Outlook can be a great addition to your inbox. Please see our other sessions such as working with accounts, contacts, and opportunities, or one of our other videos.